This is the Blockhead Pimple Podcast. I'm your host, Chris Freebus, a.k.a. Shut Your Trap. Joining me as always, halfway across the world, is Jared Morgan. Hello, everyone. How are you going? All righty, here we go. So uh, we'll just get this out of the way right now. Uh, as of this recording, not for Jared, but for us in the States, it's April 1st. We're not going to be pulling any of that crap on you, okay? No, no, no. <laughs> but Stern did. I saw. Uh, that was pretty <laughs> obvious. Yeah, Jersey Shore pinball. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah, Jersey Shore with the old style, like DMD in it. I went, ah, yeah. Yeah. Cool story, bro. And, the, and then the uh, yeah. the tagline was, uh, "Are you DTF down to flip?" Nah. <laughs> <laughs> no. The That's the so one good. that got me this morning, uh, it was a tweet from Santa Monica Studios. Uh, who is the Sony subsidiary, and they have done all the God of War games. And it mm-hmm. was coming late 2023. Uh, 4K remasters of every God of War uh, all on one disc for PS4 and PS5. Now, oh, yeah. there's the thing. They did exactly that for the PS2 games to PS3. And with as well as the latest version of God of War and God of War Ragnarok are doing, it totally makes sense that they would do yet another remaster. Um, And I mean, you know, with Last of Us doing remaster, and I was like, oh, that's awesome. And then maybe they'll all come to PC. That would be great. And then I went, crap, what's the date? Hang on a second. (laughs) Hang on a second. But you know, I wonder if sometimes they use uh, April Fool's as an excuse to just put something wild and crazy out there and then... Oh, sure. See what the reaction is. feedback about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I, I agree. That's not, uh, I mean, it's not a bad ploy <laughs> to be like, ha, ah, no, we were just kidding. We were really serious. Mm. <laughs> um, yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. 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 I think that's a great idea. Yeah. So, um, I have a, I have an addiction, Jared. Oh, do you? Uh, yes. not, not slippies? No, no, it's a different kind <laughs> of addiction. <laughs> um, so I love me some, Oakley frames for my glasses. All right. Yes. And one of my very original, actually, actually, it's my first prescription glasses from Oakley. Um, they were known as yardsticks. They were my favorite pair. I've had them for years and years. And I was cleaning them when this happened. Oh, oh they just dear. pulled apart right in the middle. And I was. What are they made of? Plastic. Right. Yeah. It's just a plastic. Um, I mean, I don't know. Could I put some kind of an adhe- you know adhesive, uh, you know, bonded glue? I don't know. I'm not into those multi-stage glue things that you could do. Um, th- but like I said, th- it's literally my oldest pair. I've had these for. I-, I wouldn't be surprised if over 20 years they were. Uh, wow. Okay. Yards yardstick eight. That was what they were. Yardstick eights. Now my okay. very first pair of Oakleys. See if these aren't a uh, flashback to good old times. Yeah, oh, baby. Oh, oh. X-Men oh, days. Oh. Yeah, exactly. So these are actually quite valuable. Are they? Um, these things go for like 400 bucks. Um, what? They're really? Yeah, they're metal. It's all metal. Oh. The, the problem okay. is that they had a lot of gaskets in them, and so they are completely wonkified right now. And Oakley no longer refurbishes, and so in order to get all the little gaskets that make these tight, uh, it's about a seventy or eighty dollar fee from people that now do it third party. And right, okay. I actually at the time I paid for Oakley <clears throat> prescription lenses because these are all prescriptions. Um, right. These were they're polarized, and these were phenomenal. Like, mm-hmm. because whereas most glasses, it's the rays coming directly at, and then your peripheral is crap. The Oakleys, mm. it's like full wrap around. It's oh, a wrap around. Yeah. It, it was amazing. These things were amazing. I loved them. Those are the sort of glasses, these regular sunglasses that I always buy, like the, the full ones that actually follow the contour of your face. Yes. Because you just get so much better coverage with them. That well, way. But, but again, with the prescription, the prescription actually wrapped all the way around. So even my oh, peripheral so it was, was vision corrected. Yes. They were amazing. Um, but that's not the way it, uh, the way it works anymore. Well, I mean, if I paid for Oakley, 
lenses, yes, but I don't pay for ugly lenses. I just pay for the screens or the uh, mm. the, the frames. Um, the frames. So, the, so then my my next uh, pair of Oakleys that I had were uh, these. These are also metal, um, yeah, but right. I don't. I realized I don't like the nose pads. That's mm. that's my only issue. These are probably my after the yardsticks, my second oldest pair. Um, right. But they're pretty good. I like these a lot. Um, and yeah. then I started uh, going a little bit uh, funkified, and I went with uh, these here. These were just sunglasses, a little um, oh, wow, look at them. sparkly blue action. But the mm. peripheral is crap for just regular glasses. So these are literally right. good for outdoors, and that's about it. Um, right. What are these? These are um, Minute. Minute 2.0. That's what those were. Um, this segment not brought to you by Oakley, by the way. Uh, <laughs> and then, um, then I got into tumblers, which are these. Now, these were replacements because I also had uh, this in a olive tortoiseshell, and guess where they snapped? Right down the middle. Right in the middle. <laughs> and so that's the flex point. Yeah, like, that's it is. When, when you put on the like, you yeah, because them they out, pinch your head. The yeah. you know, Oakleys naturally are narrow, so they pinch your head. Um, yeah. But uh, they also, and so I picked these up on eBay thinking, oh, I'll just be able to swap my lenses, not realizing mm. that apparently the ones I had had a slightly smaller uh, prescription area. And so my old lenses were too small to fit into this area. So I picked these up dirt cheap, the frames dirt cheap. And I was like, well, let's try it again. So I got them in black, exact same issue. <laughs> I was like, and yet the measurement on the eBay said it was, anyway. So I haven't put lenses in these yet. Waiting on that. Um, and then let's see here. I've got uh, these. These are the uh, cross links. <laughs> White pair of glasses. Well, those. You know, why not, right? Um, You've got a lot of glasses, eh? Uh, and then like I a have, lot of glasses. yeah, and then I have airdrops, which. These are kind of my least favorite of them because they started all the Oakleys as of late have gotten wider on the bottoms. So I like a narrower, but mm. so I got that. Um, and then I picked up for 23 bucks uh, yardstick 4.0s, which I thought, oh, this will be great. I can just easily swap out the lens, the lenses. But, but it turns no. out that this little section right here had a slightly narrower curve. So I was like, right. oh, bastard. So what I did was I unscrewed the uh, the metal frame that holds the lenses in from my yeah. 8.0s. I was like, oh, I'll just swap them in. Boom, put it in. But unfortunately, they're just a little bit longer on this end, and so the lens can drop. I can't screw it in place. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah. That's... You know what? There's a solution to that. It's called um, epoxy. Just epoxy. Well, but here's the thing. Here, so here's me, though. <laughs> Okay, so my, my lovely uh, insurance, for some reason, deemed that I can get new frames every year, but I can only get lenses every other year. So every two years. Yeah, but that's like right. the exact opposite of what insurance normally covers. Normally, they cover your lenses because you'll scratch lenses, but yeah. you'd get frames every frames, other year. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So uh, next year, because this year, this is, I found out this year that that was the case, so I didn't get any lenses this year. Um, so next year, I will put back in the actual, um, the original metal bottoms and get the proper prescription or the proper uh, ones for these. And then hopefully I can find mm. on eBay a cheap pair of the yardstick 8.0s, and then I can use those. Like I said, Jared, I have an addiction. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you do. I, um, I, I didn't realize this side of you, Chris, that you, you have an addiction. I like my glasses. <laughs> Well, if you wear them all the time, it's I do. one of those things. It's like a good pair of shoes. You buy it, you spend the money on them because you're in them all the time, right? So, you know, you kind of want to make sure and, they're good. And, you know, and I've tried different uh, frame manufacturers, and I just, I always come back to Oakley. I always come back mm. to them. I just, I like the way they fit on me. I like their comfort. I like everything about them. So, if you have an old pair of Oakley frames that you don't want, hey, message me. Send them on over. I'm Bell. i do the collection. <laughs> You'll sit like how, like that wall behind Chris will be like a, a a trophy room of all the different um, Oakley sunglasses you have. Um, um, if I could, all on those little, all those little stands that you see in right in um, 
in optical stores. If I could afford it, I'd have a watch addiction too. Right. But I yeah, love yeah. watches. So, right. But that's way too expensive of a... <laughs> like uh, they have these... Uh, yeah. uh, I've seen advertisements for watch of the month. They'll send you a new watch every month. It's a $100 a month subscription fee and they say they value the watches between three and $500. Um, and sometimes they'll like gift people a Rolex just, you know, like on a random drawing. Um, but oh, on, that's one thousand two hundred dollars a year. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Okay, <laughs> right. Sure. How many watches? I mean, you've only got two arms. Um, so because you, because yeah. it, it's it's again, what am I feeling? Like I got the big, I like the big clunky watch that I got. But sometimes you yeah. want a little lighter weight watch, and maybe sometimes you want uh, one with a slightly more uh, dressy finish than sporty. You know. I don't okay. Know. I just wear one smart watch and that's all I wear. And just one <laughs> Fitbit versus two. But I don't um, need to oh. go somewhere dressy to wear a dressy watch. <laughs> You're getting comments from the peanut gallery. Yes, there. The, pe- nice. the peanut gallery is going, you don't go anywhere dressy. You don't dress dressy. <laughs> you know, doesn't mean I don't like the watch. <laughs> um. I may go somewhere dressy if I, you know, have a watch to wear. So there. It's it's not that I go, <laughs> it's the possibility. <laughs> I could go. Exactly. So, right. Right. Uh, all right, enough of um <clears throat> enough of that. Let's get into some pinball, shall we? Yeah, but more to the point, let's get into some speculation. Yeah, which we haven't done we for love ages. Speculation. All right. So we haven't uh, done for ages. What is bringing this about? Obviously, Zen just had their well, we'll call it the pinball show, except for but it's it not wasn't. quite the pinball show, is it? <laughs> yeah, it's it's the pinball show two point oh. But it's yeah, well, it's it's a reboot. It really. is a reboot. Or, yeah. So, um, yeah. Zen this month, uh, it became all about Lena and Akosh, uh, broadcasting from Budapest, mm. which I mean, truthfully, it makes a lot of sense. <laughs> it actually. Really does make a lot of sense. Um, like that's where all the action is. Right. So. They they actually know what's going on, and they. I mean, I think everybody's favorite segment of the pinball show was always let's ask Akosh anyway because he's kind of yeah a natural speaker. He does the Twitch or wait, he doesn't do the Twitch streams. Lina does the Twitch streams now. Right? Lina does those. Yeah. 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 Um. He so used I, to though. I yeah. yeah. I mean, the point is, is, they've kind of got a rapport with the audience as it is. Um, yeah. And based off of this first show, they kind of were naturals at it. Um, they were really good. Yeah. Like they nailed it. Yeah. 100% nailed it. It was um, great. And then the other nice uh, feature that kind of got added on was they did interviews with uh, some of the pinball community. And it seems like they're going to continue doing that. Um, yeah, which I thought was a really nice touch. Like, it was. Uh, we, got, we got to meet friend of the show, Wilbers. That's right. Um, and see what he looks like. It's That's great. right. <laughs> Um, yeah. and I know that, uh, I'm pretty sure you have too on, I believe discord would be it. I don't know if this is on digital pinball fans, but Robo, I know I've had interactions with before too. Yeah. Um, we, we've seen Robo Loco on, on the, um, uh, on our, uh, live chats. Yeah. Heaps. He, he often drops in as well. Yeah. Yeah. It was a, that was an audio only with uh, yes. Robo, but, yeah. um, um, uh, but yeah, yeah, that was, was that was pretty cool that they uh, that they were featuring uh, some of the community there, uh, giving giving yeah. props and asking questions. So, um, no, I like the I like the new format. But beyond that, they've got even yet a second new format um, that'll be premiering on Monday. So uh, tomorrow for Jared, two days for me. Uh, but uh, called Pinball Bites, and I have a feeling mm. these are going to be just the very quick announcements uh, rather than. I have a feeling a this is going to be show. what the. Yeah, th- I think this almost is going to be kind of what the pinball show was moving towards anyhow, which was just just the facts, ma'am. Yes. Um, about the new releases that are coming out and and specific announcements. So yeah. Um, and this is what you know when the pinball show first started. Uh, I think the increasing amount of feedback was that just just tell us what's going on. You don't need to make it like yeah, we don't an need entertainment skits. show. No, we don't need skits. We just just tell us the facts, and we can move on with that day. Yeah, because you know, that's what we want, yeah. and that's totally what they seem to be doing here. Because we we did like the first they they did like a little preview of the pinball bites, 
um, segment, which um, I think we might be just showing it still of later on yes. because reasons. <laughs> um, <laughs> but it, it, this is great. Like, just give us two talking heads. Like, I'm when we live and breathe this ethos. Like, let's keep the production values low. Are you saying we the like the two talking there. head format, Jared? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> if we were in the studio together, do you think we would actually have the same thing? We probably would. We'd just be sitting around a, a table with two mics and doing this, yes. I reckon. We, we would look yeah. like uh, regular YouTube podcasts rather than COVID-era podcasts. <laughs> yeah, that's right. We, we were basically embracing the COVID-era podcast. Since 2012. COVID was even a thing. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's how we roll here. Uh, we are we are thought leaders in the space. That's right. Right. <laughs> um, so anyway, in, uh, in this latest uh, pinball show... Uh, there was all sorts of uh, little nuggets and things for us to speculate and guess about. Uh, Mel Both kind spoken of... spoken and inferred as well. Yes, yeah. So yeah. Mel kind of kicked things off, um, basically telling us that we are going to get legendary surprises or legendary mm. table surprises. So I'm curious. There's a difference between legendary tables and just remasters because he also said remasters mm. and i'm wondering if legendary isn't the hint towards those tables that didn't ever make it into fx3 oh like um like south FX... park oh um, yeah miss explosion man uh Super League football. Oh, um, yeah. What, what, what am I missing? Miss Miss Explosion Man. Uh, Plants vs. Zombies. Plants vs. Zombies. Yeah. Um, yeah. Or are they even dipping farther back into the wall? Which, I mean, in the past he said no, they wouldn't. Um, mm. But maybe, I don't know. I just, it was kind of weird that he specifically said legendary, not legacy tables or. Yeah. Because I think legacy is what they mean by the remasters. Maybe. I, Maybe I wasn't I, I couldn't really work out what that was referring to. I haven't in the past I haven't heard the term legendary used to refer to anything. Yeah. Um that the studio is producing. It's maybe there was a table pack at one point that like was legends. Um I'm trying to think of like one of the early like um Zen originals or something like that. Um but well, like mm. the only thing that I can think of as legendary would be like Son of Zeus and that, but we've got that because um, that right. was like you know based on tales and legends. So maybe, maybe that's the the clue. Maybe it's like based on some sort of other lore or legend sort of thing. Um, so you th you're that, thinking that more that it's an original, whereas I'm thinking it's pulling yeah. from the past. I yeah, I okay. think that because it's a. So the words were legendary surprise, right? It's it's legendary table surprise, yeah. Yeah, so I think it's a new table that's based on some sort of existing, like, non-IP-driven okay. lore, basically. Okay. <clears throat> um, he also said we have a uh, Williams table uh, coming up next month. Um, a Williams table. So a that Williams could be... Table. Because, because they, they use the term Williams universally to say Belly Williams. Yes. Like, it's just a, a Williams release. Yes. So it could be either Belly or Williams brand. Table. Correct. Um, yeah. And based off of, this is where once we show the uh, still image that I have for the preview mm. of Pinball Bites, uh, there there might be a good good hint <laughs> mm. in, uh, up on their back wall. Um, if they're embracing that hints in the back wall ethos. Um I Mel, think they'd be mad because the community loves yes. that. Like they um, absolutely love it. Mel also said they have a new partner that apparently is going to surprise us uh, for mm. a new table release. For so a new partner for a new table. Yeah. Okay. So that's okay. So that's basically a new row in Pinball FX. I would think and so. A new table. New, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, I have no idea what to guess on that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, no, I've got he's saying we we won't be able to guess. So I mean, it's kind of like 
Yeah, it could be anything. I mean, because I mean, considering what we had with uh, you know Gearbox, I would have never pulled that. No, <laughs> no. Would I, I don't know if we even saw Gearbox when we were doing that. All right, what does you know Saber Interactive have access to? What have they done? Uh, yeah, you know, I, we went I'd down that to... that speculation line, and I don't think Gearbox was one of them. Yeah, well, the funny thing is, is the last time we looked at what Saber has, uh, certain properties have exited from that list. Right. Um, okay. Other properties have changed. Like, for instance, Saber picked up uh, Square Enix. Which made us wow. all go, hey, cool, Tomb mm. Raider. Except for Tomb Raider went and reverted back to Crystal Dynamics. So. Uh, okay. <laughs> so no Tomb Raider. Square is still with Final Fantasy. Yeah, definitely. But would Square ever let them do a, a Final Fantasy pinball table? Which would be easy to do because mana is a lot of times a ball. Um, yeah. I don't know. That's what I'm saying. We, would, we you need to really need to revisit that list if we could find it somewhere and see what uh, companies Saber currently has, or or not Saber, but uh, um, what's the uh, uh, larger source with an E? Embracer Group. Embracer Group. Yeah, that's what mm. I mean. Embracer Group. They're the ones that bought Square Enix. Yeah. Um. Uh, what else did he say? Oh, so then Mel said uh, we got some new remasters coming. Again, mm. I believe there was a hint on the back wall. Um. He said, <laughs> we've heard you about Super League. It's more than likely <laughs> coming. <laughs> more than likely, which means... It is. <laughs> probably is. Yeah. yeah. He's I not think. going to... That was, that was a pretty definitive... Uh, yeah, it's on its way. We we're just not saying when. <laughs> yeah, it's coming. Just we don't know quite when yet. Which, as you know, uh, if you've uh, watched our show, we've been championing that to happen for years. Yeah, the whole show on it. We we did like a whole show. Well, we did a whole show, but I mean, you go back, back to uh, I don't even know. It's been a couple of years that we've been harping on wishing that it would come mm. back. Um, yeah. Then the interesting notes that Mel dropped says there's a fairly good chance we'll have to see a South Park coming back. Yeah, but it's not only that he said and. Heck, you know, we might even bring back Portal and The Walking Dead. Which really at, threw me for In the loop. same breath. It's sort of thing. It's like, <laughs> oh, you know, maybe these tables are coming back too. Who knows? Maybe. Um, like, okay. All I know sure. is if they do South Park, I really, really would love them to do yet a new table. Um, oh, like get another... Yeah. Yeah, they can do yet another theming and really uh, try and get Matt and Trey on board um, to record. To do some custom call To do some custom call-outs. Um, my fear is that they would do a table entirety on Tegrity Farm. Um, I, d I don't need a weed <laughs> yeah. table. But, no. <laughs> um, I, don't, I don't think they would, probably. Um, I don't do either. Do one on Tegrity. Um, I don't either. Uh, but enough has happened in the show since those other tables were. Uh, there's a whole bunch of new storylines that they can go for and and, and do. Um, yeah, and, I haven't watched South Park in years, so I'm uh, totally not up to date with it. It's it's still fantastic. Love it. Um, yeah. He did mention talk of Alien versus Pinball and Balls of Glory or Balls of Fury. Balls of Glory was a movie. Balls of Fury. Balls of Glory. Wait, is it I Glory? Think, I, I think it is Balls of Glory. I don't know. Anyway, well, balls of uh, the balls. Fox tables. <laughs> balls. So what that tells me is that they are in talks with Fox. Um, yeah. But so. I think we... Oh, here's they, a they new confirmed. partner. Maybe a new partner. Maybe they've partnered with Cameron. And we're getting an Avatar table. And... <laughs> and uh, uh, an Alita Battle Angel table. And... Oh. Uh, <laughs> And an abyss table. Ooh, yeah. Get rid of secrets of the deep and just go for the abyss. Um, oh yeah, <laughs> that that sounds fine, right? Yeah, I'd <laughs> I'd take all those. Yeah. So anyway, those were the uh, those were the things that uh, Mel was hinting at. So, I mean, a lot of that is if it's coming from Mel's mouth, that means it's been pretty vetted. <laughs> and if he's talking about it, then. It's probably you could pretty much take everything he's saying 
as probably correct. Yeah, I was going to say he wouldn't be because he never talks about license things that um, might jeopardize the license right. being done. So if so you're saying mean, Portal and The Walking Dead, this means to me well, conversations are being had back. and have accelerated to the point of uh, where things have been inked. We probably. just we just not announcing the when. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Because we've got the, the, the basically the, the ink in the contract is dry, and now we just have to go through and probably do the remaster pass on those tables that were previously featured, or in the case of um, you know, well, even like The Walking Dead and Portal, like those ones are uh, existing properties. Mm-hmm. They just need to go through and like just do them like Unreal Engine Four magic on it. Yeah. So yeah, I think if any of those things that Mel said, you can pretty much say are coming back. Yeah. Um, pretty confidently. So if, well, so according to the Pinball Bytes teaser, they're going to be mm. announcing five new tables on Monday. Which is quite a drop. Yeah, that but is quite a drop. So if, if we're thinking... If you think about it, though, they, they haven't really announced too much since the platform. No, launch, they haven't. So we yeah. are probably due for a bit of a dump. So if April is getting a Williams release, mm. um, figure they're going to announce whatever that is. Probably, yeah. And then they'll have five more tables to announce, but I doubt that those will be coming out in April. I have a feeling that those will be coming out in May. So that leaves four tables. Now, when we get back to Echo and Lena, they specifically mentioned uh, Kong versus Godzilla again. Yeah, show the, show the with art. a teaser. It's a teaser. Now, yeah. is it your impression that it's just one table or is it a pack of tables? Mm, I don't have a firm opinion about it, although I think they'd be mad. They'd, they'd have like, I think they, they would do a three pack. So they'd have a little bit like uh, Jurassic Park, where they have like the regular sort of Jurassic Park loosely based on the movie, the first movie. And then they have that Pinball Mayhem one, which is a new take on things. And then they have Jurassic Park, whatever it was that horrible movie with um <laughs> with the with the four raptors that could be trained um uh, uh, jurassic world, uh, jurassic world. Yeah. yeah so i think there's gonna be like a godzilla a king kong and there's gonna a king kong and then a, king and then kong a versus godzilla a, yeah, yeah yeah that's what I, that's i mean... think because it'd be a three pack right and they they are doing things in packs now and packs traditionally have been threes so I think that's a fair call to make. That's, I'd put some money down on that. kind of my opinion. So I'm thinking that's mm. probably something for May. Um, yeah. So but then it would it's be... interesting about the, win, uh, the, the Williams table because hmm. it's a Williams table. It's not a Williams table pack. Correct. So it sounds like they're going to do another, I would say, a license table. I agree. Or something that has at least some licensing component to it. I agree. Um and I think you're probably expecting to pay around that ten dollar mark for it as well. I think. Agree. <laughs> yep. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. No, yep. I'm I'm exp- I'm yep. fully expecting the D- a DMD era Williams slash yep. Bally licensed table. Pretty sure it's going to be one of the top ten or top twenty. Well, that will be my what, call. What did we figure? There's only <clears throat> did we say there was only twelve DMD tables that they hadn't done yet? Seems about right. I think yeah. that's about right. Um, so we'll see what uh, we'll see what that uh, is. But again, there might be a hint on the back wall. Um, <laughs> which, which should we actually show? Yeah, the back why don't wall? we why don't we go ahead and show the back wall? All right, I think it's let's... time to show the back wall because we've we've alluded to it. Okay, so this is, is the uh, this is the back wall, as you can see. And I'm going to hold on. Where's my marking pen? Uh, let's go mark up. There we go, and let's pick a nice, good color. Ooh, green will work. All right. That's nice. So <laughs> we look at this uh, this uh, wall of things that are on here, and the first thing, I'm just going to go, Wee! hey, folks, you know what that is? That's a Twilight That's Zone. That's a Twilight Zone. That's a Twilight <laughs> Zone. Yep. That would for sure be a $10 table. That That's a, yeah, that's a $10 table. That's a. Yeah, for sure. All day long. Um, oh. Yeah. That'd be lovely to have Twilight Zone, a properly just, nice physics working Twilight Zone, and you can imagine the what the enhancements ramps. would look like. Oh, jeez, I, I, I don't 
there's so many like you think of all the mods that are available for that table are third party mods yeah for it and like you know you'd have obviously you'd have an animated camera you'd have no the gumballs like will be the, the proper gumballs yeah they will actually come out which to gumballs. be fair farsight did that i oh, did they didn't they put the gumballs in i could swear they put the uh, the the colored oh the gumballs around the gumball yeah the, the yeah, yeah, they yeah. would probably do that. I mean, all Zen would need to do is just take a look at all the mods out there and just do those. Which and is kind <laughs> of what they did for Theater of Magic. Oh, uh, really? Well, like the the spinning saw blade, that was straight from most people's mods. Um, yeah, that, well, that was what they were wanting to do with the bill of materials, but they ran out of money. So yeah. they wanted to make it a spinning blade. But yeah, you're right. Um, so... And the way people yeah, customize there's... their box, the the, the magic box... Um, again, that was one of those where other than the animated enhancements, you know, the, the character and the hat, um, a lot of the things that were on the table itself to me, was like, I've seen that on <laughs> tables before. People's tables. Yeah. Yeah. Um, now. So they've, they've got so much possibility with that. Look table. over here, I folks. Just... It's oh, what's that? one of my favorite tables of all time, Whirlwind. Oh, yeah. A Lawler classic. Another, yeah. And this is a Lawler. Twilight Zone's Lawler. Uh -huh. Whirlwind's Lawler. Look right here. Yep. Funhouse is a Lawler. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, well. So, yeah, Whirlwind. I don't think Whirlwind would be a $10 table because it's unlicensed. No, that that would be, no. They wouldn't but, have to do that. There you go. There's two brand new to Pinball FX Williams on this back wall. So mm -hmm. I think it legit, legit could be either one of these. Yeah, I think so. Um, now, look back here. What's this? Why? That's that, that's that would a be legacy. Tesla and Excalibur, and yes. I'm sure that uh, uh, there's a saucer there. So that would be. Um, oh, there's uh, there's paranormal. The paranormal guy right there. Yeah, paranormal. Yeah. Paranormal. And what's the other one that would be of that era? Um, thank God not V8 uh, or V12 I hope yeah, not V12 that, no no Excalibur Tesla it was in the VR Noir, version of the game um, oh what's oh, the uh, Earth Defense because oh, they're look look yeah. aliens right there that's what that one is right yeah, yeah. Earth defense. Earth defense. Oh, I never could get Earth defense, uh, but maybe the maybe they've done some stuff to make it. Please, we did an episode please. on Earth defense. Yeah, we did, and <laughs> we did. We we confirmed that we had no idea what was going on with it. No, um, it, that, that is that no. thing needs a massive code change. <laughs> massive, which they won't do. They uh, won't, unfortunately. <clears throat> at least if they make the layers a little bit more visible in it, you might be able to work out the shots. It's um, still that's not going to help. It it needs. It needs proper it's inserts. Running like... It needs better lighting to to guide you, and it needs DMD yeah. information that actually tells you, and callouts that help you. It, it needs so yeah. much. Everything, basically. Yeah, everything. Um, so there you right. go. That's the that's a remasters pack right there. Yeah. Um, I had a hard time identifying what the heck this was uh, back here. It, it says you are, and, the, and I was like, I know that figure. I know that figure. I was here's why I was getting thrown off. I want to say it was Party Zone, but I see a Party Zone flyer over here, and I was like, are they really duplicating flyers? Uh, yeah, that's Party Zone. I should have known by this girl in the boots and doing that little yeah. hand gesture. Because um, they do, because they have like the front of the flyer and the back of the right. flyer. So you should be able to probably spot a Twilight Zone front cover somewhere here. You'd think, maybe. Um, but maybe um, not. I think this one, written in Old English script, is Medieval Madness, I assume. Yeah, so it's it real like a troll. excitement. Yeah, it looks like a troll down the bottom there, too. Yeah. Um, and then the one that... <laughs> this is me wishful thinking. I don't know. But this right here. That little color scheme. Oh, please tell me it's Centaur, please. <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't think it is. Um, I. It looks almost like Elvira's head, but I don't think the, the I don't think that's Elvira's head. No. Uh, no. I know I, I'd asked uh, Pinball Wiz 45B what he thinks it is. He thinks it's a uh, bright of pinbot. Yeah. Which I don't know. This is literally, that's as far over as Lena ever dips. So you can't get, <laughs> you can't get it. He stays clean... very still. Yeah. I was like, come on, move, move, move. Um, so like I said, we think this is a green screen 
like or they're in front of a green screen. So this potential yeah. this could all change month to month, which would be a lot of fun. Because again, yep. go deep diving, trying to find uh, what's on the back there. Um, well, you know the the thing that excites me the most though about this image hmm. is it's the HFX pinball table. Like <laughs> I can't wait to see this. It's got lobsters on it. <laughs> lobsters. Like, oh, a... just think of the, the animated lobsters and the big cannon. I'd be. I'd, and just, a castle I'd... with a slide, and looks like a nuclear power plant. And, yeah. yeah, that's what I'm most excited about. <laughs> yeah, that's a new partner right there. Right. <laughs> and and that cannon over there is that that's like the cannon in uh, T two right? Um, well, uh, yeah, absolutely. Right, yeah. firing yeah, at the bus. Ooh, the bus! They're doing speed. Oh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, so now that you've seen that, obviously there's a lot of speculation as to there. So I think that answers the question of what our potential Williams is. Uh, that's going to be announced. That it's either mm. the Twilight Zone. Or whirlwind would make sense if it's uh, yeah. up on that. If it's up on that wall, it's a good chance that but there's your hint. If we're thinking of it's going to be a single table, and it's, I've yeah, I've heard that it's going to be something non-trivial floating around oh, okay. the community. So I have a feeling it might be Twilight Zone okay. that we're going to be getting. The other thing that um, I think the community is also talking about is there was in the last pinball show there was a a T2 skull um, sitting on was the... There? Um, there, apparently, there was one floating around. Um, I haven't gone back and watched that episode yet, but yes, there was. So it could be either um, Twilight Zone or T2. Um, I think, honestly, I'd rather have Twilight Zone, to be I would. perfectly honest. I would. Yeah. Like, T2, it's, it's a fun game to play, but gets tiresome after a while whereas twilight zone's got legs for days yes um as far as gameplay goes and if it's tuned right which based on all the other games that they've got it's not going to be a long player like it was on um the pinball arcade (laughs) you mean you mean where i could wizard it twice (laughs) yeah where where you could actually get like lost in the zone on the first ball yeah um it was that easy yeah no that's (laughs) not gonna be happening on this uh, at all uh if it is twilight zone for the love of God, Zen, please make your plunger be proper. It's got to have a yes. very light spring. Light yep. spring. <laughs> That's yep. critical on Twilight Zone. <laughs> yeah. Light spring or you basically can't plunge it. Yeah. I don't or want it to, to be literally just... millimeters of difference to between, between those three posts. No, it, it, there's got to be and... some play. Um, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this will be the time to test out your plunger strength options. That's right. In your game. Uh, so then uh, the pair, uh, Lina and Echo, did an interesting thing where they started going, hey, what would be your dream theme? It's like, ooh, here we go. What's your yeah. dream and this theme was, to and work on? In, this was the, uh, the segment where they sort of, they split up their interviews with their designers uh, in the show. And this was the last one in the March update. And yeah. probably the most interesting. Yeah, so uh, we had the answer of, I'm not sure who said what. Um, I think that Lina said Transformers. Yes. Now, what's interesting about that is... Hasbro. Hasbro, and uh-huh. Zen's already got a Hasbro They're slot. They're already in there. <laughs> yep, um, Exactly. And, I am not a fan of Stern's Transformers table. I felt that that was very basic. Um, well, it was because it was in the period when they were like trying to stay alive and they had to really make sacrifices on building materials yeah. to keep the company afloat. And it was junk. I, I played it too. So It's not a great table. Here, <laughs> here's where, if they were to do a Transformers table, I would desperately, absolutely 100% want Zen to go nuts on the enhancement. That being, what if the entire playfield transformed into a different playfield? Oh, imagine that. Can you imagine that? Just you're playing all of a sudden, all of a sudden it's like Cybertron. You know what I yep. mean? That would be, <laughs> That'd be insane. amazing. insane. Yep. That is, if that if you get a property like so that good. and you are 
making a digital pinball machine that you have no intention of ever making a real machine on of that's the one to go whole hog on all in <laughs> all in like yes that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah you know sc screw so making good. screw making two titles to sell just make the one but it's two in one it, 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 it's, which is so you don't make an autobots and the decepticon no just Make one that transforms. Yes. Yeah. Yes. In a lot of oh, ways, man. I think about it, though, it would be kind of like what Blade does, where you have night mode and uh, day mode. Um, and yeah. The points are completely different. But, I mean, the table itself doesn't transform. Um, just mm. what the value of the shots or what you're shooting for transforms. But, yeah, if the entire play field transformed, it just did one big... That'd be awesome. Or even, like, parts of it. Like, say there was a mechanism that did one thing when it was Autobots and then another thing when it was Decepticon. Sure. Like, have parts of the play field transform. Well, and not... again, Brighter Pinbot does that. Yeah, it does. You know. And, you know, you could make it, you know, similar to the the sort of idea or the notion of Brighter Pinbot, but just do it with full, full transformation. Yeah. Um, just, it would be amazing. So that was that was Lena's uh, dream theme, and then Akosh said that for years he's been championing doing Futurama, which would oh, also yeah. be pretty incredible. Um, I mean, if you think about the humor that was in the Simpsons table, that's Futurama all over the place, also. Uh, but yeah. Futurama with the tubes, the transporter oh. tubes, it'd be like playing yeah, Xenon. From... <laughs> yeah, it just tubes everywhere for the ball. Yes, I right. just a sea of tubes. And then again, yep. if you have wonderful callouts, and maybe you could hire the voice actors, one or two of them, to do specific callouts. Um, or oh, there's plenty of good sound alikes out there. Plenty of good sound alikes. Yes. So you could easily get a sound alike to go and record custom dialogue. But I mean, because I think no I think the bender wasn't that Billy West who did. I mean, he's a voiceover god. Uh, I mm -hmm. like him because he's stimpy. <laughs> in Ren and Stimpy. Yeah, yeah. Um, which, yeah. there ever, oh my God. A Ren and Stimpy table? Ren and Stimpy? Yes, please. Not that, yeah. I mean, unfortunately, there's a lot of baggage that goes along with that table these in this day and age. Uh, but I would love a Ren and Stimpy table. That would be mm. just wonderfully insane. Um, but yeah, Billy West, renowned voiceover artist. I can't remember who did Fry, um, but also I know it's a voiceover artist. Um, you know, not, a, not an actor, unlike... Uh, was it Layla? Is that the mono eye? Yeah, the one with the. Anyway, yeah, that's Katie Sagal. Um, you know, she's an actual actress, so good luck getting her. <laughs> yeah. Um, but all you, all you need is one of those two, Bender or Fry, to do you know just a couple of pinball specific callouts. But here again, if Zen is back to having conversations with Fox for Balls of Glory and for Aliens. Futurama. <laughs> it's possible. It's possible. It's in the same wheelhouse. Very much in the... I mean, it's that animation block that would go perfect with Balls of Glory. Um, that pack. Oh, yeah. So that would be that would be a lot of fun. And obviously, if they have a champion there in the studio that's pushing for it, uh, that obviously helps make things... Uh, well, Deep was saying that... Wheels. Deep was saying he already did his grail table, yes. which was uh, Back to the Future. Yes. And you can guarantee that they did Back to the Future because Deep was probably <laughs> incessantly complaining that he hasn't done Back to the Future yet. Yeah. So, and also their partnerships at the time probably all lined up as well. But, you know. I'd also I, like I to think... point out that a favorite table of Echoes is NBA Fast Break. Yes. <laughs> I'm would, telling you. Imagine if, get... if that was a $10. The ten dollars surprises oh. me. But just, I'm sorry, you can stop right there. Yep. Well, uh, I've, I've said it time and time again. Look, Whirlwind is Whirlwind and Roller Games were the two machines that I essentially learned how to properly pay, play pinball on. They're not the first machines yeah. I ever played, but they're the two because they were side by side in the arcade that I worked in. They're the two that I learned properly how to play pinball. Fire was in there yeah. also, but fire was trash. <laughs> it, yes, it is. I, um, it's just, it's not, it doesn't hold the candle to those two. And that constant no. siren sound just gets annoying after a while. Um, it does, yes. But then, so if I could get, so if World, if Whirlwind is on the way, awesome. If we can get yeah. Roller Games, we can get NBA Fast Break. I, I can just shut up about everything else. Um, yeah, everything else is gravy. Yes. Um, uh, okay, so so those were the, what those two 
mention. So then they asked their mm. designers that they interviewed what their dream tables were. Uh, Anna said she would love to do a Harry Potter themed table. Which we've been saying for ages. It's like, come we've on. We've been specifically saying Quidditch pinball? Shut up. Yes. Three hoops? Just launch the ball into them? Come on. <laughs> and all the other stuff? Like, there's... I mean, if you think about it, the Quidditch part in the movie is pretty small, but... You but can it could easily be an entire really table. Fun. Yeah, you can And then you, you can could easily have a, 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 a proper go-through-the-movie you know, the, the seven movies type of table. Um, and then mm -hmm. you could do just a table that's all about magic because you already got theater of magic. Capcom had mm -hmm. that wonderful table that I can't remember uh, the name of. Oh, yeah, the um, pinball magic. Was it just pinball uh, magic? Yeah. Yeah, I love that table. I love I that. Love I, to be honest, Cap I like that table better than theater of magic. Yes, me too. Um, it's so much fun. So magic theme, so, I mean, they're, boom, there's your three-pack. Uh, yep you know anyway uh so that was anna's uh request and then we go to gary Varats. yeah who i couldn't understand it jared finally made out his dream he said oh go back to an old classic jazz jackrabbit 2 yeah never heard of we it. we had to i had to do some googling to try and look for mm, old classic something rabbit 2 and it pretty much immediately returned jazz jack rabbit 2 which is a pc game that was released in 1998 we i had never heard of it before but <laughs> it is old and it is a classic game so there you go he must i, I looked at a bit of the gameplay of it it doesn't look like a, a particularly um amazing platformer but it, like he the the character when they jump when it jumps the the rabbit character rolls into a ball, so I don't know maybe that's got something to do with the the preference it, for it. it but it's, is, um, is it like a Sonic ripoff? It's no, it's not. Oh. No, it's not a Sonic ripoff. He only goes into a ball shape when he jumps around. So yeah, I don't know why. I mean, probably because it was cheaper to animate a ball jumping than it was to do a character jumping. Sonic pinball has got to be the most obvious pinball like on the face yeah. of the planet it's already been done not that i want that version but <laughs> no well uh, it, unfortunately it, well fortunately or unfortunately if zen struck a deal with sega you <laughs> boy talk about speculation all of a sudden it's all sega pinball <laughs> yeah well which is stern pinball <laughs> yes <laughs> so but but you know i mean if you think about it, if if there is a possibility that they're having a little discussion with um, Stern, then that discussion will go over to Sega. And then that's when we might see some interesting stuff happening. Like, just give me a jet grind radio pinball machine. <laughs> um, you know, with the rollerblade around the town thing. Like that with the music in it. And oh, my God. Your ball is essentially the skater. Like grinding on rails, like have it rails, you know, it's, yeah, it, it transfers. Uh, so that'll be amazing. Um, our, uh, the, the QA tester that they had on there, <laughs> he said Doom. And I was like, you already have Doom. Oh, you he wants Doom another Eternal. Doom table. More Doom. More Doom. Yeah, I mean, come on. Yeah. At least say like Duke Nukem. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's that's one that will be great. I don't know. Um, and that'd then, be that'd certainly be a uh, <laughs> like some sort of M-rated collection, right? <laughs> um, <laughs> Imagine that. Yeah, we only got a T uh, T rating here, folks. Uh, yeah, and then right. oh, uh, what we what we missed out on saying. So Deep said that um, he already did his dream table, but if he could do yet another dream table, Killer Instinct, fighting game. Yeah, Killer Instinct's an interesting one. Which I mean, I they already would... did Street Fighter Two. So I guess yeah. doing that wouldn't be unheard of. Has it? Have you played Street Fighter Two? Um, no, I don't think I did play Street Fighter Two. I I wouldn't know how. Maybe the people in the the chat will be able to tell us about that. But I've seen a video of it. But is it essentially like a little bit like how Gottlieb did a Street Fighter Two, and it was like you like it doesn't play like that? I imagine I don't know. I don't think it does. 
I don't know. And, and then that's the unfortunate part. I can't really... My memory's not bringing up to me what the Street Fighter 2 platform or play field that Zen did looks like compared to what Gottlieb did. So I'm, I'm mm. having a hard time imagining the two. Do, yeah. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. Um, but that was, that was kind of an interesting insight into uh, what they would be championing. So take with that a, a grain of salt, what you will. Um, I, I'm kind of like I'm trying to think what else would be good speculation fodder uh, to add could, into this. Hang on. On the PlayStation Store, it says you can still buy it. Apparently. Zen Bimble 2. Yes. I haven't... Uh, I know. I. <laughs> huh. And I, and I could probably buy Ninja Gaiden. Yeah. Yeah. All I see, all I see is the Yeah, it doesn't have any screenshots on the store, but it's like, oh yeah, I see the the it's general table layout of it, but it's... I just I don't feel like buying it on that platform because I'll never play it on that platform. <laughs> it look oh okay, that's a really that's an interesting design. Um yeah. I mean, it's got lots of rails. Hmm, yeah, sorry. I'm just having a look at it now and going, oh, that's, in, that's certainly an interesting looking table. Um, I just, I wish, but... here's the thing. You already got the, well, I mean, with scientific games, you have the Bally Williams, you know, license that you're paying for. What's yeah. another Bally machine? Mortal Kombat. <laughs> mm. You know, we already get the audio drops in, uh, uh, uh Medieval Madness have toasty. <laughs> um, yeah. So <laughs> I, it's really cool. I, I think it would be fantastic to have a Mortal Kombat pinball and have the pinball be what delivers fatalities to characters on the table. Yeah. I, yeah, that would be pretty cool as well. There's of so course, again, would be pretty cool. it would be not a T rated. A table. That would not be a T-rated no. table. <laughs> um, <laughs> unless the blood was green. Well, I was going to say, unless they make it all friendship. <laughs> remember remember that whole thing? Oh, that's right. The, the friendship. The plot. friendships. on for Because uh, yeah. Super NES didn't want to show fatalities, so instead they had friendships, and the uh, Genesis had the fatalities. But Super Nintendo had the better graphics, and so it was like, what do we do? Do we want the better graphics, or do we want the fatalities? <laughs> yep. That's <laughs> oh those those ports those early ports of <laughs> console game oh, of arcade games yeah. that were clearly you know ten times more powerful than what the console could actually do yeah it's like oh wow like the sacrifices they had to make were <laughs> it's pretty bad right so uh, I mean we've done this many a time and they actually went ahead and asked this uh, in their interview questions for the uh, community people that they interviewed. But Jared, dream theme. What would yours be? Oh, put me on the spot for a dream theme. Yeah. Jeez. Oh. I don't know off the top of my head. Um, what's your dream theme? I keep on coming back to it that I really would like a cowboy bebop machine mm. just because of the music um yeah and basically it was after watching us do that uh, uh pulp fiction uh deal and mm. having the music play and there's a lot of pull quotes that you could grab from the show um i that's i really think that would be spectacular i just rewatched a uh, a majority of ghost in the shell like all the movies and I always said that that would be an interesting pinball machine, but truth be told, not really. <laughs> yeah, the theme is cool. The theme is but cool, but putting it in pinball form, that. nah. Um, no. But I think I really do think because with Cowboy Bebop, one of the all their ships, the 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 single fighter, single flyer ships, mm. it's all an orb that they're in. So if it was a matter of locking right. your ball to into the a ship that was on the play field to activate that ship being able to do things on the table. I don't know. I just, I feel like there's a lot of uh, potential and possibility in that theme. 
Um, yeah, right. That's that's interesting. The other thing, I think, because Zen did say that they wanted to open up, um, like their audience their base product to audience base to more of an Asian market, yeah. mm-hmm. um, and tap into that. So, I think. Anime is the logical choice for that. Yes. Um, I would wonder how something like um, Neon Genesis Evangelion would translate to pinball. Um, where you have... Think of the battle element to it. Yeah. So think of how Godzilla... The Godzilla pinball from um, Stern works where you're battling a another big like enemy. Um I think they could do some of the more interesting, like combat scenarios, as as battles, um, for that. So, <laughs> and what I would rather have than than that, but in the same vein, is Robotech. Yeah. Um, yep. Or Voltron, even. Voltron would be spectacular too. Sure. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Real, real simple theme right there for your wizard mode. Light each of the lions to form Voltron <laughs> to go into wizard mode. And each of your balls would be the Voltron lion colors. Exactly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That, boy, that's, that one just writes itself, doesn't it? It really does. <laughs> yeah. And that, that that's a good entry because you know Voltron uh, is very widely accepted. In, instead, we'd probably get Power Rangers. Boo. <laughs> no. It would be funny. I, I would already have. I would already accept that table if they really doubled down on the cheese factor yeah. on it. So like it, would, it would have to be so cheesy for me to want to do it. So let's think about this too. If we were doing Hasbro, mm. and we were to get a Transformers, what else does Hasbro have? GI Joe. Um, yeah, that'd be uh, what. I, only if they do '80s GI Joe cheese. That's all I'm saying. Um, they didn't do TMNT. No, Hasbro wasn't TMNT. No. They were. A different that was pl- uh, was it play I want to say something. playmakers or something like that but I don't know who that was um, the TNT license though that's also I mean the, the toy license was now. different than the um, than the actual property because the property yes, is right. owned by is that it was owned by Nickelodeon so probably I think it still is yeah, probably is. Um, yeah, I think it's still well. All the new cartoons and properties coming out is a new, all Nickelodeon branded. So there's already a relationship with Nickelodeon in Zen. So what's that? You know, what do we have? Why My I... Little Pony. Oh no, That's Nickelodeon Hasbro. is um no. Oh, is that we already have Nickelodeon stuff? It's we don't um, have anything Nickelodeon that I know of. Oh no, it's. I thought we did. We have. Uh, no, we have Paramount or DreamWorks. Paramount's not, which yeah, is not, that's... which is not Nickelodeon. No, that's right. That's a different company. Nickelodeon. Well, so here Can we, we get go. Nickelodeon, Nickelodeon would be. Zen? <laughs> so if you did SpongeBob, which would be painfully obvious, um, it would be yes. Ren and Stimpy. Uh, you could do. And I'm going old school here, but Rugrats. Uh, yeah, maybe. Uh, I don't know. I would hate yeah. it, but. Yeah, <laughs> um, me too. Um, what cat dog? Uh, uh, but mutant ninja turtles would be part of that. I would certainly love a new. I mean, who wouldn't want ninja turtles? We just had a ninja turtles physical machine out there, so yeah, it wasn't great. So yeah, Zen make it make it better. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's yeah. Um, what else would Hasbro like do? Shoot some ladders. No. <laughs> Imagine if they do that board game theme <laughs> property, right? What What are the, like some of the top ranking Hasbro board games out there? Oh, so I have to look that up. It ain't Monopoly because yeah. that's not that's Parker Brothers. That's that is Parker Brothers. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah, it is. I think. Yeah. Um. um God. But yeah, that I don't. I don't. Imagine even know. tapping into that, like making a board game come alive in pinball. Oh, I know I what mean, else they've is Hasbro? done. It, Mr. Potato Head. <laughs> you, can you imagine? You start off with just a blank potato on the screen, and then you're yeah. just collecting parts and slapping them on. <laughs> yeah. In weird orders. In weird order. Yeah. It'd be kind yeah. of like Arm Biolab. Size. Yeah, it actually, it would be, wouldn't it? Biolab. Two Biolab Mr. Mr. Potato Head. Mr. Potato Head. 
Yeah. <laughs> so, oh, there was the one other hint things. that we got uh, in terms of, okay, so the all the designers, they were asked what they were working on. Um, mm. Anna said Williams. That's all she said. And yeah. then uh, Gary Vidotz said music. Music? <laughs> As he thought for a long time about what he could say. <laughs> what? You don't think that they've gone with a band table, do you? Well, and here is some deep speculation. Oh, boy. Deep. Okay. Deep speculation here. You remember a while back, they were, they, they had that very conspicuously placed Spooky Pinball spot. Okay. Where all of a sudden, Spooky Pinball was just on the show. And they were <laughs> for no reason. Stuff. Yes. <laughs> for, for just reasons, right? <laughs> well, what about um, Rob Zombie? What about, um, I think they did another music table as well. Um, they, they, oh, I, th- I thought they did another one. I can't recall from the top of my head, but maybe something like Rob Zombie. Um, that's yeah. like real music that's deep adjacent. speculation. I mean, but that's, that's like way music adjacent. That would be like me going, uh, maybe they're going to be doing Captain Fantastic. <laughs> yeah, just, you know it's <laughs> well that you know rob zombie is um like a he's a musician he's a, but that would lean more towards what the qa tester was saying that he's currently testing well like i'm horror. assuming he's currently testing which he said horror um ooh, so that which, would fit in with that okay but here's where i'm going with horror hello scared stiff or oh, well, elvira yeah. and the party monsters Do anything elvira anything. or even dracula Dracula is a possibility. Right. Uh, what else yeah. would be horror that that is out there? Um, trying to think of anything that we're missing. That's that's D M D related. Um, the and that's Williams Bally. Yeah, although you, it could be a hint back to what Mel was saying about uh, Walking Dead and Portal coming back. I mean, you're Walking not Dead wrong there either. Back. Yeah. He could be testing The Walking Dead right now, you know. Hmm. I I, I would rather it be Elvira. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Bring me scared stiff. Bring me scared stiff, and that I don't have to go into pro <clears throat> mode in order to uh, get the good language. Get the good language. Yeah. The the good yeah, bad language. Right. Um, the good the good language, such as giving Elvira multiple jackpots. Yes. That is, you must strive for multiple jackpots for Elvira. Yes, and yes. the deadheads giving good head. Um, <laughs> That's right. <laughs> They're always wanting just a little bit of it. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. The call outs of that game are great. Oh, they're fantastic. Um, yeah. so, so, okay, so we had a horror uh, idea. We had, uh, well, would you consider Twilight Zone potentially being horror? It's right on the oh. verge. Like some of their episodes would have it's... been horrific. But I don't think it ever was. It was always more sci-fi. Hmm. Yeah. Just trying to know. think about it. Or if they go the route that you're saying, that if you want to go the spooky route, <laughs> well, those Rob Zombie tables are horror, and they've got a Halloween table. <laughs> um, yeah, they do. The John s- Carpenter's Halloween. Right? So... so uh. I mean, yeah. but I would think you would you would think <clears throat> they would have announced first we're going to hear about a spooky connection before we would hear anything else. Well, they don't necessarily have to if it's all just behind the curtain. They can <laughs> if say it's all, like. hey, by the way, we're pushing out this table. Yeah, that means we're partnering with spooky. Uh, yeah, um, <laughs> that's right. Hmm, yeah. yeah, you know, hmm. We're announcing, um, we're announcing the Rob Zombie table. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> well then, uh, uh, next please, Rick and Morty. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Was there any other hint of? We said we had William. We had horror. Did was there any other? Because uh, uh, Deep didn't say anything. No. 
No, he didn't say anything. And it was just those four individuals. And on, so yeah. Anna Williams, the horror, and then music. Hmm. Mm, that was it. That was it. All right. Well, I was trying to think if, like, if Zen went original to make their own music table, what kind of music would they pick? I've got no idea. I don't know. I mean, that's a possibility. They could actually have partnered with, like, maybe, maybe, and you know what it would be? The Bare Naked Ladies. Because. <laughs> Because they actually, they, they love pinball, right? So it's a bare naked ladies pinball table. <laughs> that, that would be the, the who's our, who's our D list uh, bands out there that like pinball? Yay. Let's go with them. <laughs> yep. Yep. That's it. Bare naked ladies for sure. You know, Metallica Locking commissioned in. their own pinball, but we can't grab them. So let's, uh, no, you know, <laughs> yeah. You, I'm just trying to think, though. Like, in general, if you were to pick a musical act that would have wide appeal um, to license, who would you go with? Well, everyone's idea of who has wide appeal is probably a little bit up to up for debate, which is why it's really hard to do a, a, a music-themed table. I mean, you think most and... of your music theme tables are jukebox related, right? That's why you get the bands that we've had because they're the jukebox standards. You go into a bar, mm. that's what you're expecting to hear, right? Yeah. It needs yeah. to be in theme with that. So, you know, we're not going to get Taylor Swift the pinball machine. Um... Yeah. Unfortunately, <laughs> we're also not going to get Rick Astley the pinball machine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um... Which is a real shame. But anyhow... <laughs> um... Uh, who would a music act be? Um, well, well, think of like band. It always seems to be centered around rock bands. But here, okay, again, I'm going to throw one out that I think just because it just popped into my head, and I was like, you know what? I wouldn't mind it. It would be pretty decent. How about Prince? Uh oh. Things have happened. Yeah, you're back. Okay. <laughs> yeah. It, it, it temporarily signed me out. Um, so I don't know if you heard that, but I was saying, how about Prince? Let's go yeah. crazy multiball. Come on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> It'd be a very Party like table. it's 1999. Right? It would be. Yeah. Um, but I, I think that his there's enough appeal to his songs I mean, basically what I went was, who's done Super Bowl halftime shows? <laughs> that Yeah, that's actually a pretty good indication, isn't it? Um, I'm, I mean, the licensing will be phenomenal for it. What about a Michael Jackson table? Uh, there's a lot of baggage with that. <laughs> there is, but... I, I, I don't know. I get what you're saying. If you let's say if you said it was a thriller table, okay, I'm down. Yeah, mm. but if it's just a catalog of his music, eh, doesn't really. That'd yeah. be like, oh, about Madonna pinball? No, I just no, no. Um, it's really tough. Like, I would not like to be like someone that's doing going. All right, we need to do a music pin. Like, who's on the table here? And having to select from the list of bands that you can actually get. Yeah, which is why I think you've seen. Like they've gone Aerosmith, they've gone Metallica, uh, they've gone Rush. I mean, I'm Zep. thinking you could do Chili Peppers. Yeah, you, yeah, actually, you know, they've been again. They've been around for so many years and have such a massive catalog. Um, Look, if if Stern hadn't picked it up, I would have actually said Foo Fighters because mm -hmm. they they are like they're mainstream, they're acceptable, they're played on all radio. Yeah, you know, they they are a good choice. For, for a band theme table. Um, yeah, it's really tough. Because there's plenty of know. bands that I'd be like, oh, I'd like to see, but I'm like, yeah, it's not. They, they interest <laughs> only me. Exactly. Yeah. You know, yes. would, I, would I like Tool Pinball? Oh, hell yeah. But um, yeah. <laughs> that ain't going to mm -hmm. happen. Um, no. You know, uh, Nine Inch Nails Pinball? Yeah, absolutely. Um, but yeah. <laughs> the the modes that would result from that one would be absolutely M rated only. <laughs> Actually, you know what I would want? Here we go. 
Devo. <laughs> Whip well, it I was going to say, if you wanted to have a novelty music table, which unfortunately has already been done, the Weird Al, Weird Al Yankovic Weird Al, yeah. table yeah. would have been an amazing choice yeah. um, for them to secure. But multimorphic has got that. Multimorphic is actually coming up with some interesting things. They've got the what looks like the next version of um, Total Nuclear Annihilation from Scott Denisi. Hmm. I had a look at the gameplay on that the other day, and it has this interesting mech on it that fires three balls out in less than a second wow. at you. It goes boop, 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 and they're on the table like that. It's, it looks pretty cool. Um, but, yeah, buying one of those down here is like $25,000 for the base <laughs> model. Jeez. Like, so with a model with one of the special playfield yes. add-ons that you need. So it's not a cheap platform to buy. I don't know. You tell us, folks. Uh, Speculation-wise, A... Tell us what your dream themes are. Hit us up in the comments. Let us know. Um, mm. What are what are we missing? What are what is an obvious choice? Uh, I mean, there's been threads of this and threads of this and threads of this before, but it's always a fun thread mm. to do. So, yeah, hit us in the comments. It's in the Discord. Let us know what you think. Um, if you're doing a music yeah. table, what would be the uh, what would music that be? act that you think would be most uh, universally beloved? <laughs> Um, yeah by everybody but one that you like yeah one that you think would actually work yeah yeah uh and then what do you think what do you think the horror table or horror theme what do you think zen's got up their sleeves um, mm. those are the, the mystery. mystery yeah mm. um because the williams i mean look just look at any of the dmds i haven't done it's you know <laughs> you realize it's one of those. <laughs> that's not one exactly, of them. Yeah, that's not exactly fun to think about. But let's go uh, outside the box and start thinking. What are those original themes that Zen could do? Um, so hit yeah. us up. Let us know what you think. Yep. Uh, anything else, Jared? No, I don't think so. No, I think that uh, covers off the. I think it the big too. load of speculation yes, for the uh, for the uh, short term. So again, if you got Oakley frames, you don't want send them my way. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Um, yeah, so that'll do it for uh, this time around. Next time, Jared, what are we looking at? Seven things. Love it. All right, until then, folks. Bye. See you later. <laughs>